Hi there, I'm here at Embedded World 2025 on the DigiKey stands and joining me today is Torfiq Ahmad who is the Associate Director for Product Marketing at iWave and today we're going to be talking about FPGA system on modules, applications, evaluation kits as well as the support that the company offers. So thank you very much for joining us, it's a pleasure to have you back. Why don't you introduce yourself for us? Thank you Piers, it's a pleasure to be back here at Embedded World. Uh, so I'm Taufik and I primarily lead product marketing at iWave and helping customers in terms of their product engineering and bridging the gap between customers and our engineering team. Fantastic. And tell us a little bit about iWave Global as a company. Yeah, so we uh, are an embedded systems and solutions engineering company, primarily focusing on the industrial, medical and avionics vertical markets. So we focus on our core competency of system on modules, FPGA cards and ODM solutions. And uh, we do our complete engineering in India, our manufacturing in Japan, and serve customers globally. Fantastic. So I'm interested to hear, how have you seen the adoption of FPGAs grow in areas like AI, medical, and aerospace and defense applications? And, and what's driving these, these trends? Yeah, so that's a good question. And especially if you see Embedded World this year, I think AI has been the theme so far. Yeah. And uh, we have seen a lot of adoption of FPGA primarily because of two, three compelling reasons. There's more com processing power required on the edge. It's moving down from the cloud all the way down to the edge. So you need a bit of low latency processing power, which is where FPGAs come in. And you need that sort of computational power and the flexibility to run algorithms. That is where FPGAs come in. And applications like medical imaging or uh, the upcoming need for radar in electronic warfare systems or be it tester measurement equipment. There's more and more re uh, need for more processing power and uh, uh, specific purpose run applications on the edge which is where we have seen the increasing adoption of FPGAs and uh, if you've seen why FPGAs are becoming more and more popular it's become of the adoption of F AI uh, tensor the enhanced DSP tensor blocks and AI engines integrated into the FPGA so the word FPGA is now becoming the word FPGA AI correct oh. so yeah so that is what is driving the increased adoption in AI applications. Okay, and following on from that, what are some of the latest technology trends and, and innovations shaping the FPGA market? You know, you've mentioned AI. But... Yeah, so the key one is definitely more and more logic elements being uh, sort of uh, built into smaller packages, so that sort of gives more processing power on the edge in compact form factors, correct? That's one key application. Then you see the video, uh, the hard hardened video decoders and video encoders on the processor on the FPGAs yeah. and then the third one being in terms of the integration of multiple application processors and FPGAs so different sort of parallel uh, operations and parallel uh, sort of computational software can can run on the FPGA new FPGA devices so these are some sort of in, uh, new uh, technology trends in the FPGA industry so what advantages does an FPGA system and module offer over sort of the traditional FPGA implementations Got it. So it's always a good question in terms of going for an FPGA SOM. It's more like a make, or make versus buy option. And if you look at a system on module that you see here, right? So it has multiple sort of connect interfaces that come out through these connectors, and it integrates all the FPGA, the memory, the DRAM, and bringing out the service and other interfaces through these connectors. Mm -hmm. So most of the hard work is done by iWave. So customers can then build a career card based on their requirement and sort of focus on their core competency. So this sort of accelerates their time to market and product development speed as well as reduces their development risk and complexity because most of the complex FPGA, uh, whether it's in terms of the high speed design or thermal analysis, power integrity, signal integrity, those are taken care of from a significant perspective on the system on modules. That's one key advantage. The second advantage is the scalability and modularity. So once you design a career card with this system on module, you have the complete scalability between different types of FPGAs. So you don't have to redo the career card design or your product design at regular intervals. You have the scalability between the FPGAs. And last but not the least is in terms of supply chain complexity. So rather than working through the 100 to 200 different components on the SOM, you leave that to companies like iWave who take responsibility of building and manufacturing the SOM and supplying it to you on a regular basis. So that's the sort of advantage that an FPGA SOM brings to your product design. Yeah, and especially over the last couple of years of all the supply chain disruptions we've Absolutely. had, I imagine. Yeah. Um, so can you also explain the, the value add that an FPGA SOM provides in terms of both software and hardware capabilities? Got it. So from a hardware point, I think the key advantage is in terms of scalability and modularity, and you get the, num, num, the GTS, the GTY transceivers through these connectors, so you always have access to the, the peripherals. 
and from a software point, right? So all the complete the, the BSP, the Linux BSP, whether it is the Peta Linux or it is in terms of the Cortis tools, right? Depending on manufacturers like AMD, Ultra, Acronix. So IWF takes responsibility of building the BSP, building the projects and gives it to you as a complete software library which you are able to easily use in your project. So all the complete timing constraints, the sort of BSP constraints are all taken care of. So from your product lifecycle management, the hardware and software roadmap is maintained by some companies like iWave, which gives you lesser sort of development uh, headaches through your product lifecycle. And can you tell us about any new solutions that you're offering for, for FPGAs and, and how they're meeting you know, the current market trends you discussed? Yeah, so I think what uh, in addition to the system on modules, we're also developing three UVPX cards, which come with different types of uh, system FPGAs, primarily for the aerospace and vertical markets. And then you also have the SmartNIC solution, which is built for networking, data center, wireless, and security applications. So these are the two different types of uh, solutions mm -hmm. built around FPGA from iWay. Fantastic. And, and finally then, how do you collaborate with, with DigiKey to support customers in their product development journey? Yeah, so we make sure that we are an early access partner for AMD, Ultra, and Acronix. So we have access to their early access programs. Uh, so our development kits are available the day these companies launch their FPGAs. And all those development kits are available on digikey.com where we make sure that the development kit lands in the developer's hands within two or three working days so that customers have access to the latest technologies and are able to build on their solutions and core competencies. Fantastic. Well, it's always a pleasure to have you here. So thank you very much for coming back and enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you.